Hey everyone, hope all is well. Look at the babies on the screen. Blackistan. For the women and children. That's sometimes the worst place for you to be. It's around your own. In the black community. Nine years old. Look what happened. Check it out for use. With new details about the murder of nine-year-old in Skokie. We're learning the little boy and his younger brother were targeted in what police are calling an act of revenge. CBS 2's Tim McNicholas first broke this story earlier today, and he joins us now live from Skokie. Tim, this is, is troubling on a number of levels. Joe and Dana, police now believe that the suspects in this case, the shooters in this case, wanted revenge for another shooting from last summer. Investigators say it was a planned and calculated crime that ended with a nine-year-old dead and a six-year-old wounded. <laughs> Prosecutors describe it as a hailstorm of bullets. 35 shots fired into this home in Skokie on May 14th. Nine-year-old Jeremiah Ellis suffered 11 gunshot wounds to his <laughs> body and his brother was shot in the foot. I relive it every day since then. Jeremiah's grandmother described how she heard gunshots in her home, then dropped to the floor to try to save Jeremiah. My arm tucked under him, and I feel blood from through my, going through my fingers. <sighs> I started yelling, call the police, call the police. Investigators say the shooters are 22-year-old Christian Anderson and 16-year-old Richard Banks. They're also accused of casing the house before the shooting, mm. along with a woman named Tamisha Clark. The family of the children told police that Clark was the girlfriend of a man killed in an expressway shooting in August. Investigators believe the Skokie shooting was in retaliation for that, and Clark helped plan it. Neither police nor Jeremiah's family would go into further details about why the suspects targeted this house, but the family did say they've been threatened. They knew that we was in that house as a family, okay. and they they've been putting threats on our life for the last since since August, since August the twenty third. They've been putting threats on our life for an incident that did not involve us at all. Detectives say at some point prior to the Skokie shooting, Clark even posted to Snapchat, I'll smoke you and your kids. Yeah, expletive, I said your kids. All three suspects have been arrested and charged with murder. Prosecutors say after the shooting, Anderson texted Clark and asked if the gun had been wiped down. She replied that she would as soon as she got home, adding that she would use bleach. And a relative of those boys told us today that the victim of that expressway shooting is actually related to Jeremiah. And another thing we learned today, one of the suspects accused of killing young Jeremiah was just sentenced in March to 30 days of home confinement and 18 months probation for a separate case. That was an armed robbery. Wow, an armed robbery. Really? Now, when all this happened... All this happened. Listen to this. I relive it every day since then. Jeremiah's grandmother described how she heard gunshots in her home, then dropped to the floor to try to save Jeremiah. <sighs> My arm tucked under him, and I feel blood from through my, going through my fingers. I started oh, yelling, gosh. call the police. Not defund the police. Call the police. Not defund them, call them. Well, why do you need to call them? What's causing a problem? And, and look at this. What? What? Why do you need to call the police? Because the diabolical chocolate drop got a gun, making it pop, killing children. That's why you need the police. Not defund them. Oh, call them. Why are we calling them? This on the screen. This on the screen. Is why you need to call them. Oh my goodness. He looks like just a, maybe a lighter version of Umar. 
Maybe it's just me. That's the first time I said, I'm like, Umar. No relation, I'm just saying. But seriously, why do you need to call the police? This on the screen. Look at this. I'll smoke you and your kids. Yeah, B, I said your kids. And did. I'll smoke you and your kids the depravity a b c one two three felony they grow up they get their jumps so they've earned it oh they've earned it again that's why i say a black man that they pretty much work for the clan they can retire the art of war i know most can't read and they haven't forbid, haven't forbid they read a book. They, it may have to be accompanied by a twerking video. So stupid. This group is already lost. Hate to tell you. Already lost. What is it? Maybe not sending verbatim. If you can make them lose humanity, you don't even have to fire. You, you, you don't even, you, you, you have, it's, it's a lay down. They're killing themselves. Trivial matter. Trivial. It's some bull. Some it's it's always like hitting over some dumb stuff. Now I'm gonna go shoot this. I'm gonna go shoot that. It's crazy. Black men that work for the Klan. I'll smoke you and your kids. He put that on Snapchat, and he did. This little baby shot in the foot eleven. He shot what eleven times or nine times. unbelievable so when these happens we got to call the police but i thought you wanted to defund the police let me tell you why you can't defund the police you can't what you need to do is defund uh uh um uh, in any assistance for people that can't afford to have children even middle class you need to be held accountable to rich whole nine yards you can't defund the police though because it is on the screen that's the real thing we don't want to talk about so even a bad one might get a pass. The cop that allegedly shot at some car, what do you call it, car thieves? Oh, I support him. I support him. He shot a group of car thieves. Well, what the heck you want him to do? Let them steal the car? Maybe that cop should have ran after him. And there's good and bad police. There are some bad ones. We know that. If they're at, again, go ahead and get rid of them. See what's going to happen. You won't be able to walk to your car. These criminals will go crazy. Black women, every 5.5 hours, you might be looking at every 30 minutes. But you want to defund the police. With these fools on the screen in the community, that's why you can't. They're like savages. Any woman housing them? And, you know, I'm wondering from you guys, like people are saying in the comment section, which it hadn't occurred to me, to be honest, until I started reading what you guys are saying. The baby mamas and mammies, they're getting on the list for these, uh, let's say, uh, the reduced rent voucher program. And yeah, they're bringing their sons, their baby daddies, and that's what causes a problem. That's what causes the problem. So if they end up, uh, they should go ahead and um, who this person associated with on the on the premises. How do they get here? That person should be evicted within, uh, you got 30 days to get, no, no, give them, you got a week to get out. Got a week to get out. The savages among us, because the baby mamas, oh yeah, they're on there too. So here's one more clip to check it out, fair use. This evening at 4 o'clock, three people now being held without bond on charges that they shot and killed one child and wounded another. This happened in North Suburban Skokie. Police provided some new information within the last hour. Rob Sneed is live for us now in Skokie with an update. Rob. Yeah, that information just coming down about those three arrested in this case. Now, you're about to look at three people Skokie police say are involved in this murder. The latest arrest, a 32-year-old woman, it's Tamisha wrong. Clark, 22-year-old Richard T. Banks, and 16-year-old Christian Anderson, all facing charges, including first-degree murder and attempted first-degree murder. Authorities believe this murder mm. is a retaliation shooting stemming from an expressway shooting death that occurred in August of 2021. Authorities say the suspect harbored anger against the victim's grandparents and wanted to seek revenge for her boyfriend's death mm. it's a tragedy that the girlfriend of my beloved little cousin ralph banks 
will orchestrate an act of violence against his family. Police responded to a call of shots fired after 12 on May 14th in the 4700 block of Main Street. Mm -hmm. Now, they say at the time of the shooting, the victims were laying on a blanket watching television on the ground at their grandparents' house. Investigators say the suspects fired 35 shots in the home through a window, shooting both children. Police say the nine-year-old, Jeremiah Ellis, was shot 11 times. His five-year-old brother was shot in the foot. Now, paramedics transported both children to a local hospital where Jeremiah was pronounced dead. I grabbed Jeremiah and my, my arm tucked under him and I feel blood from through my, going through my fingers. So I started yelling, call the police, <clears throat> call the police. Authorities said historical cell phone data, witness testimony, along with surveillance video, provided investigators with information that led to these three suspects. I cannot imagine. I, I can I cannot imagine. And I looked at these people, at the family. These men right here grabbing their heads. That is probably in shock. Children. In shock. Child that young. I someone shooting through the window. Thirty five times. It's crazy. Cause it is trash on the screen. Innocent children. So, ah, it's too much. This 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 community, the depravity in the black community, it is too much. The depravity in this group. You kill each other down in, in, in the streets. Uh, Business-wise, can't treat each other right. Somebody got to pull a shady move. The women aren't safe. The children aren't safe. If you're a black man trying to get something accomplished, you're not safe. And this little boy is deceased because of some nonsense. This hag and this piece of tra trash. Also, um, anyway, people, thanks for watching. This is really, it, it's, it's, it's too much. Rest in peace to the baby on the screen. My heart goes out to him. Not even, just a kid. Not a chance to live a full life, to be an adult. The BC won't let you have that. I'm sorry. So thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And be safe out there, people. Uh, this is just horrible. This community is too much. It's it's too much. I don't know them, but just seeing the story, I, I just can't imagine. I can't imagine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out. Have a hope you enjoy your weekend. Stay safe.